Hey guys, so I'm back with another story time video because I know y'all like to watch them. I love to watch story time videos myself. So today's story time is going to be about the first time I failed a class at UCLA. So um, being a straight A student my entire life since like literally kindergarten, it was crazy to actually like fail, legit get an F grade for a class. So I'm going to tell you guys about how that happened and how you guys can avoid that in your future. Okay, so I've never been good at math. My entire life, math has always been like the hardest subject for me. Um, I don't know why, I'm just not mathematically inclined. I used to be, but like in high school and like later on in life, I got progressively like worse at math. I don't know why. I can memorize like a ton of stuff, but it's just hard for me to understand math the most. So, basically, so I was taking a math class for my major. And I believe it was calculus, but it was, um, I don't know what the actual name of the class was, but it was the second level of calculus here at UCLA. And I was already struggling to begin with. Like, um, when I was, like, doing, like, I, I don't know, the, the professor wasn't, like, the best professor ever. And I just felt like I wasn't learning that much from him, and I was having to do a lot of self-taught work, so I really don't like that. So I was just struggling to begin with, and so I would get help from my friend and stuff in that class. But, yeah, so I just wasn't very good in that class in general. So, as you guys know, during the school year, there's, like, midterms. There's either one or two, usually, uh, for every class. So this class had, I believe, one midterm, and um, it was worth a large portion of your grade. Because if there's only one midterm, it's worth a larger portion of your grade rather than if you have two. So this was an important midterm. So I studied super, super hard for it because I was like, I need to get a good grade so I could like get like pass this class and everything. Because like I would turn in homeworks, but they weren't like that good. I don't know. Like I wasn't getting like the best scores on homeworks or anything. So I was determined to get a good grade on this midterm. So I would get at least like a B in the class. Um, so on the night before the midterm, I stayed up practically all night till like, I don't know, like 3 or 4 in the morning just studying, getting ready for the midterm and stuff. And typically I wouldn't usually have a problem waking up for exams. I've never really had a problem uh, like that in the past. But for whatever reason, this exam, I couldn't wake up for the next day. I feel like it was at like 11 a.m. or something in the morning. Um, so I set like a bunch of alarms to wake up. And so what went bad with my alarms is that when I set them, instead of setting them for like 10 a.m., I set them for 10 p.m. So no alarms went off. All my alarms were set to p.m. on accident. So when I went to sleep thinking that I was going to wake up, like I had a foolproof plan, I had set up all these alarms to wake up to. They were set at the wrong time, so they never went off. So, that was great. So, you know when you're, like, stressed out and your body just, like, naturally wakes up at, like, the time it's supposed to, even if you're really tired? I don't know. That happens to me sometimes for exams or tests or something. Like, say I have a midterm or a final at 8 a.m. and I go to sleep. And even if I set an alarm, I'll still wake up at, like, 6 a.m. just naturally from, like, the stress that my body is undergoing. So, anyway. So, I set all those alarms and I didn't wake up to them. And I woke up and I was like, oh, okay. Because uh, I woke up naturally and I was like, oh, it's just one of those situations where I woke up naturally before my alarm because obviously I didn't hear one. And then I look at the time and it is literally, my midterm has already started. It's like 11.10. My midterm starts started at 11. Um, it takes like a minimum of 10 to 15 minutes to walk to the, like any sort of classroom or anything on campus. So I was literally freaking out. I got up. I was like, I was... Um, when I set my alarms up, I was giving myself enough time to like get dressed, review a little bit, stuff like that, but no, I just like shot up out of bed, put on whatever I could, and started heading toward campus, right? Okay, so I didn't realize once I got to campus that for, for whatever reason it like went over my head that he had said in class that the midterm was not going to be in the normal lecture room, because a lot of the times the midterm, if it is at a, the normal class time, it will be in the lecture room that you go to every day for the class. So I show up at the lecture room, and the room is empty. Like, I'm literally 20 minutes into the midterm, I show up, and the room is empty. There's no one there. And I'm like, oh my god, what the hell? And the only thing I could think of was, dude, um, I must have like not heard when he said that it was like not in um, another other rooms because for like big classes they'll usually assign people um, like uh, people last names L through M they'll assign them to be in this classroom and people last names A through K they'll be in this classroom so yeah I didn't realize that he had assigned rooms and I guess he had sent out an email but my email um, this was freshman year by the way um, my email 
during freshman year, it was like set up where like all UCLA emails, professor emails would always go to my junk folder. And sometimes I would forget to check it, so I would always like miss emails. So he must have emailed it and it went to my junk folder and I never saw it. Let me tell you, to this day, I check my junk religiously now because I'm not trying to be in that situation again. So anyway, so I, I check my junk, I'm searching through it, I'm searching through it for like where I'm supposed to go in the midterms. It's literally during the midterm where I'm supposed to be there. And yeah, so anyway, I'm like searching through it, searching through it, and I like cannot find this email. So finally, finally, I found the email. It says what room to go to. I'm in like the total opposite side of campus from where I need to go, and I literally just take off and I go to that room, right? So by the time I get there, I walk in and I tell the professor, I'm like, hey, like, I slept through my alarm. I couldn't find the room. Is there anything that could be done, like, um, for a midterm? He's like, no, like, I'm sorry, like, we have to be fair, the only, I, which I totally understand. He's like, the only thing we can do is, like, sit down and try to get through as many problems as you can. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm screwed because there's only, like, 30 more minutes and this is a big-ass, like, nine-page midterm. So I, like, sit down. And another horrible part about that midterm is because the room I was assigned in, um, there was no lefty desks left. I'm sure there was like a few in the room, but there was no lefty desks, and I'm left-handed. So I had to sit in a right-handed desk, and when I sit in a right-handed desk, I have to like turn my body this way. I don't like want to, but I have to because I physically like, I cannot write unless I turn my body just a little bit. And so I'm turning my body, trying to work on as many problems as I can, and the girl next to me legit swears I'm like cheating off of her, or trying to cheat off her, because I'm like turning my body, because I'm literally like writing on a right-handed desk. And she's like covering her paper and looking at me, and it's like, girl, we're not even on the same page. I do not know why you're being so crazy, I'm not trying to copy you, whatever. And so yeah, she was just like covering her, her exam and just being ridiculous the whole thing. So long story short, I only got to like two out of the nine problems on the entire thing. So obviously I got an F on that and so after that I was just pretty discouraged but I was still determined to like try and pass the class um, but unfortunately my understanding for the class just declined. It did never like go back up. So uh, as I was like doing my work and stuff I was like okay like the final I gotta ace it, I gotta do well. Took the final, did not do as well as I anticipated, did lower than the average, which sucks really bad. Um, so I literally got an F grade in the class. And I think, though, because the midterm and the final are weighed so heavily, they're weighed pretty similar, though, when you, like, look at them. I think if I would have had the entire midterm time, and I would have, because at that point I was still, like, kind of understanding stuff. Like, he hadn't completely lost me yet. So I think if I would have got there and had the entire midterm time, I think I would have at least passed the class. Um, so yeah, that sucks. That was the first F I ever got at UCLA, and I was so sad. I could not believe it. I was in shock. I checked my grade, and I was like, that cannot be my final grade. I was literally like, what am I going to do? Yeah, so that was a pretty awful experience, and it was definitely a reality check that I need to be a more responsible student and check my emails and just, like, stay on top of classwork. So yeah, definitely learned that my freshman year. People always say, like, you learn the hardest lessons, like, your freshman year of college. Um, and you learn that it's not like high school and you can't study like it was like high school because <laughs> it's way harder and people are working much harder. So yeah, so there's my life lesson to you guys. Study really hard for math classes, uh, make sure you set multiple alarms, double check your alarms, triple check your alarms, um, so that doesn't happen to you. So there was my little story, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to let me know any videos that you guys want to see, comment below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and okay, talk to you guys soon, bye!